Hey, it's Friday and the wind has just now died down a little bit. This is the, the remnants of that, the hurricane slash tropical storm. The worst is not here yet from what I'm hearing. And I'm really sad because I found out that the, the pier at Cherry Grove Beach, you know, right there where Bolanos is, the pier has been wiped out. So that really sucks. It's hard to show it to you with raindrops on the door, but I, there's no way in hell I'm going out there. What, Boop? No. You do not want to go out there. You think you want to go out there. Let's see if you do. Back door. Ugh, what the hell? I'm not leaving this open. Yeah, exactly. So it was really scary windy earlier. It's actually calmed down a little bit. But from looking at the forecast, it's it's going to get worse before it gets better. But we haven't lost power all day, and I've now jinxed myself by, by saying that. Um, usually if a hummingbird goes by, our power goes out. So I'm kind of surprised we have power at this point. Ugh. This is going to be short. I know I say that all the time. I don't know what it is. I've had this happen before. I'm sorry, I look like shit. Sometimes when we have storms come through, it gives me the worst headache. I don't know if it's like the barometric pressure or something, but I have had the worst headache all day today. It is just kicking my ass. And when it gets like this, like I just, I feel really tired. I got just, my head is just killing me. Um, but I wanted to let you know, because I've had several people ask me, you know, is the storm bothering y'all? Well, I mean, I don't think the worst of it is here yet. God, my hair. I, I've been downstairs. Um, I watched, I watched Sling Blade while I was downstairs earlier. It's the first time I've sat down and watched a movie all the way through in a while. And I forgot, I remember the first time I ever saw that movie. If you've never seen it, it's it's a, an interesting movie. Uh, Sling Blade, Billy Bob Thornton. Very interesting movie. It's, it's good. I thought it's good. It's, it takes a little getting used to. You know, if you need lots of action and excitement, you know, this, this movie has a very slow pace. And I like it, personally. I, I like it. But I remember the first time I ever watched it, I was still riding River Road. And I rented it at a video rental place. And because I had heard it was good, but I didn't know anything about it. And it was really funny because I had just written the scene where Carl gets whacked. I don't know if I don't mean to spoil anything for you, but Carl was one of the um the the preachers or whatever in Pastor Faust's church. And he ends up getting killed by one of the parishioners. It's a whole you know separate story line. But it's funny because the way I originally wrote it, the way I originally saw it was one of the brothers killed him with a lawnmower blade, like hacked into his brain with a lawnmower blade, just like Carl did in Sling Blade to the asshole Dool. So once I saw that, I, I instantly, as soon as he's, as soon as I saw he was sharpening a lawnmower blade, I said, I'll be a son of a bitch. Shit, that's what happens in River Road. And now... I felt like I had to change it because I didn't want people thinking I was copying Sling Blade. I wasn't. I came up with that I, that idea before I ever saw the movie. But I had just written that part. And so I went back and changed it to where the brother bashes him in the head with a gigantic pipe wrench. It, it works just as well, but that's not how I originally saw it. I originally saw the guy. He was working on a lawnmower, and Carl kept bothering him, and it was like the last straw, and the guy just, he had the lawnmower blade off. He had just sharpened it, was going to put it back on the lawnmower, and he just picked it up and just whacked him right in the skull and killed him. And, but so I had to change that. So anyway, it was I had forgotten about that until I was watching. Like, oh, I remember the first time I saw this movie. Yeah. It was so funny because I couldn't believe it. I thought, what are the freaking odds that that's how somebody gets killed in this movie? And I just used that method of murder in the story that I'm writing right now. That's crazy. So I just changed it to a pipe wrench. It's fine. It didn't, I don't think it really affected anything. 
So it has been very, very windy and very, very rainy here all day long. I had to work this morning. I had to attend. We have to, do, I hardly ever, I never have to do Zoom calls for my day job. The only one I ever have to do is once a year, all of the intellectual property paralegals have to do a Zoom call together. And we're all over the country. You know, we're all over the place. I only work for one attorney. I work three days a week. We have like one client. Like, do I really have to? Because I don't work with any of these other people. I don't work with any of the other attorneys. I don't work with any of the other paralegals. Do I really? And last year, I don't mean to tell tales out of school, but I was a little pissed about this. Last year, they sent us all uh, these digital little gift certificates to pay for our lunch during the Zoom call. They have it at lunchtime from 12 to 1. And they sent us DoorDash digital uh, little gift certificates, which I thought was great. So that way you could have lunch while you are sitting in the Zoom meeting. Did they do that this year? Hell no! Hell no! No lunch for you! No lunch for you! Sit there and let your stomach rumble, you little peon. We don't give a shit. So I was a little irritated. Like, you could have at least let me have lunch or something. You know, I never go out for lunch. I was kind of looking forward to like, well, I'm not looking forward to this call, but at least, you know, at least they'll provide lunch. I could get lunch from somewhere around here. Because there's a, there was a restaurant not far from here I, that I've kind of wanted to try. They haven't been open super long. I thought maybe I could get lunch from there with the little, if they do the DoorDash thing again, maybe I could do that. No, no, not unless I want to pay for it, which I don't want it that bad. So, like, shit, I don't even get lunch. Damn it. So I had like a bowl of dry honey honey nut Cheerios. I'm sitting there crunching on these things, just pissed off. Like, I can't believe I have to eat this. And I had a little hunk of some smoked cheddar in a little bag in the refrigerator. I'm sitting there gnawing on that, eating my honey nut Cheerios, just mad as hell. And I thought, I'm not even turning on my, my camera. Fuck these people. Excuse me. Screw these people. Fuck these people. I'm not turning my camera on. So... <laughs> Court, you know what zoom calls suck they just they're stupid they are hardly ever necessary has ever any has anybody ever been in a zoom call that you felt was necessary it could have been an email you know there's no need for this you spend at least a third of the meeting determining who's on the zoom call and getting everybody straightened out and ready to do the zoom call you're sitting here like fuck i sorry i just hate them i hate them. I hate them. So they're like, oh, is so-and-so here? Well, look, I think we lost her. Oh, no, she's back. She's back. Hello? Can you hear? You got, you got, you're on mute. Can you, I can't see you. Can you, hello? Why don't you just let us all go, you know, once we're in, let us go do whatever the hell we want to do. And then, you know, we'll come back in like 10 minutes when you get all these other people straightened out. Why do we all have to sit here like goobers waiting what is wrong with y'all? How do you not know how to get in a damn Zoom call by now? My God in heaven, I know we've all done them. It is not that hard. What are you, what are you doing? It's like people who go up to the ATM and they're up, they're up there for an uncomfortably long time. Like, what the hell are you doing? What are you, it's boop, boop, boop. What, what are you doing? I just want to go ask them, do you need help? But then I'm, they might think I'm trying to rob them and you see, you can't do that. You can't approach people at an ATM. So the first third of the damn call is just getting everybody on the call. And then everybody has to go around. Oh, don't you love it? Everybody go around and introduce yourself. The problem is then like four people all try to talk at the same time and then nobody talks. And then four people try to talk again. And we had like 15 people on this call. I'm going, is this necessary? Is this necessary? And Mary, I can't, we can't see you. Are you having trouble with the video? Because we're not seeing you. We want to be able to see everybody. I said, yeah, I'm working on it. I wasn't working on shit. I just put my microphone back on mute and went back to washing dishes and eating my Honey Nut Cheerios and my cheese block. Like, I ain't got shit to say to y'all. I don't need to show you my face. I don't even work with any of you people. So then, let's have everybody go around. So the leader of the, the, the call gave up because everybody kept trying to talk at once and then nobody would talk. 
And so, so finally the person said, well, let me just, I'll just call out names. And then, you know, I have a list of everybody on here. And we'll just have you introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, we do not have time for this shit. Why are we doing, I don't care. With all due respect, I love you all, but I don't give a rat's ass. I don't want to hear about, you know, your dogs and, you know, the fact that you like to knit. I don't give a shit. Can we just get on with it? And the thing was, too, I couldn't find the client matter number to even bill for my time for the stupid call. So I got no lunch. I can't bill for it because I don't have the stupid number. I don't even know who to ask for the damn number. So I ended up not billing for it. Like, I, I'm not even going to bother billing because it's not worth it. I don't even I don't even care. I'm not even going to bill for it. So before the before the meeting started. I went. I came up here upstairs and I got my laptop and I took it down there, my like my personal laptop. And uh, I had some. I'm working on doing a video talking about co some comments that I've gotten on my other channel, and I have screenshots of all these comments. I have like 20 comments and screenshots of them, and I'm going through labeling them and making notes about them and trying to figure out how I want to format the video. It's not going to get done today. It's going to take a while to do. I think it's going to be more labor intensive than I thought originally. I'm sitting, I was sat there, worked on that for a good chunk of the call. I got my dishes washed, I ate my cereal, I ate my chunk of cheese, and I got my little screenshots all labeled and, you know, put them in a folder and made notes about them. I wasn't listening to a damn thing anybody said. I was kind of halfway listening with this ear, like, literally, it's just like last year. I had to do this call last year. Not one damn thing discussed in that entire call had anything to do with me. When they got around to me, so Mary, tell us about yourself. I said, I work for so-and-so. I only work three days a week, and I have one client. And then I just stop. Like, oh, do you have any hobbies? No. <laughs> do you have children? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, so we'll move on to uh, Terry then. <laughs> Mary interested in sharing her personal information with y'all. I really, sometimes I feel like Peter from Office Space after he was hypnotized and just didn't give a shit. I don't care. You have hobbies? No. I do not. Mm -mm. So at least I got everything labeled for a video that I'll do later. But so I spent an hour on that. And the cabinet people came by and looked at my cabinets. Um, they're going to have to pull them out, you know, to replace the drywall back there. And there were three guys and they said, so you're saying you don't want us to pull them out now? I said, I'd rather you not because then I'll have cabinets sitting about in my kitchen, I guess, all weekend. And then until whenever the other people can come replace the drywall, is there any way we can avoid that? And he said, well, you are the homeowner. I said, yes, I am. So, he said, okay, well, we'll leave them here. Thank you. I'm going to tell you, that was, that was monumental for me. Ten years ago, I would have never had the guts to say, because it was pretty, I think they wanted to pull them today just to go ahead and get them out. But it's Friday, and I don't want to have a bunch of cabinets sitting around in my kitchen, just loose, just flapping about. No, no, I, I'm not interested in that. You know, unless there's just no other way, which I'm kind of getting the feeling that you want to do it now because it's more convenient for you, but it damn sure ain't convenient for me. I would have never had the guts to say a word. I would have said, oh, no, you know, go ahead and do, go ahead and do whatever you want to. It's okay. And inside I would just be seething, but I wouldn't say anything. But I think I've, I think I've grown a bit. Like I, I have found, I have found enough of my voice to be able to speak up and say what I really mean. And what I really mean is I'd rather you not. I'd rather you leave them where they are till it's time to do the, the drywall work and then you can pull them out. And that way they're not sitting out for as long, hopefully. They damn sure wouldn't be sitting out all weekend. So can you not? So they didn't. I said they were here and gone in like 15 minutes. <sighs> and I had, did have to work today. I did my day job work and I attended that cursed Zoom meeting. I did get a snarky remark at the end. The leader of the meeting said, Well, Mary, we hope you can get your camera fixed before we do our Zoom, our next Zoom call. I said, Yeah, buddy. Bye-bye.
And I just disconnected like, <laughs> fuck y'all. I don't mean to be that way, but I'm a contract employee. I'm like not a real employee of this place. Um, I'm a contract employee. I'm, I'm like they're, you know, I, I work, I get an hourly pay. I don't do benefits or anything like that. It's just an hourly rate. So I just don't understand why I have to sit there and listen to all this shit and spend all this time listening to them discuss all these things that are very important to everybody else, but they don't mean a damn thing to me. Like this has nothing to do with me, like nothing. Why do I have to sit here and listen to it? I don't work with any of these people. I, I will never work with any of these people. I was hired as a contract employee to work for one guy. And he basically has one client. I, I don't, this is, none of this pertains to me at all. It was all about other clients that I have nothing to do with. Like this, this is stupid. That's why I just kind of tuned it out. Like, yeah, whatever. I'm going to just, uh put my mic, I just was muted and I just kind of half-heartedly listened for my name. They did come around near the end and they wanted everybody to discuss what they're currently working on and it took everybody forever. Ah, yes, I'm working with 47 attorneys and I have 600,000 clients and blah, 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 blah. It just sounded like the teacher from like Charlie Brown. Wah, 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 wah. And then I heard my name. So Mary, tell us what you're working on right now. I said, it's the same thing I'm always working on. I work with this person. I have this client. That's it. So, do you have any big projects coming up? Nope. Um, how do you handle docketing? Well, when new stuff comes in, I docket it. That seems to be sufficient. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Yeah, that's all I got, dude. <laughs> I, that's literally it. I don't know. I might let them see my pretty face next time, but I didn't feel like showing them my face today because, like I say, I was already mad because I didn't get lunch. And it was it was just, it's just a waste of time. You don't get to see my face if you don't even want to buy me lunch. I don't think that's asking too much. A little $25 DoorDash little thingy would have been, would have been nice. You know, maybe I would have let you see me. But you didn't do that, so I didn't bother. I'm a bitch. Sometimes I'm just a bitch. But see, I already had a headache at that point. Can I blame it on the headache? I was already dealing with a headache. So, I got to get a video done for my other channel. And I'm actually thinking that I might want to go ahead and do it now. Uh, it's like 6 o'clock in the evening. But the wind is only supposed to get worse. And I'm afraid if it gets much worse, we may end up losing power. Because I'm starting to hear that trees are coming down uh down probably about 60 miles south of here it's it's getting really bad um lots and lots of trees down lots of damage so i might go ahead and try to get it done it may be kind of short because i need to be able to do it and get it uploaded and I, whatever it is i'm not i'm probably not even gonna bother editing it so i'm gonna have to start this uploading while i start making the other one just so i can get something out today because this is the first time i've had time to like sit down and really do much other than watch Sling Blade, I did do that. One of the reasons I did that was I had an interesting thing happen today. I'm going to tell you really quick. So the weather is shitty, right? Now, I don't, I'm not exactly sure where Wally goes. Again, I think he goes to the doghouse at the neighbor's house over there. Well, he came over and he was hungry. He came in the house to eat. This about After the Zoom call, he came in. And he didn't want to go back out. And I said, see, Wally, you could stay in here. Now, I left the sliding door cracked open a little bit so he could run out. But he did something really cool. He went into the dining room and he laid down on the rug under the dining room table. He just went in there and laid down. I said, oh, my God. And he laid down and he just stayed there. And after he stayed there for about 10 minutes, I went and just closed the sliding door because I didn't want all that wind coming in. It was very cold. And I thought, I'm going to hang out down here with Wally for a little bit. And he stayed down there for probably close to an hour. So while he was there, I was watching Sling Blade. So I was kind of, you know, he could see me and I was nearby. And he seemed all right as long as he could see where I was. Like, okay, she's here. So we're, we're good. But then he wanted out. So I, I had to let him out. But then I, I finished watching the movie and yeah. So that was really cool. 
but he, yeah, he didn't want to stay in here any longer, but that was something that's never happened before, so that was really interesting. I'm still going to do the greenhouse for him and everything, but if I can convince him, like, it's fine to stay in here. It's, it's a lot more comfortable in here than it is out there with all that wind and rain, and it's cold and yucky, and yeah, it's better in here, man. Just stay in here. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I, I'm going to go try to get, a, I'm, I'm going to do like a Goodwill jewelry bag or something. I haven't done that in quite a while, so I think I'm going to do that and then just upload it raw. A lot of times I just have raw video. I don't edit it at all. I just upload it as is, especially if I don't have a lot of time. I'll just make it. And if there are no loud noises in it, I just, I just upload it just as it is. And if people don't like it, they can just get over it. I'm, they, they can cry about it or whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to let you know that we're still alive. We haven't blown away. We haven't drowned or anything. So, this really sucks, though, to hear about the pier at Cherry Grove Beach. Man, we were just there at the Pelican Motel. That's, like, really super close to where the Pelican Motel is. That really sucks, man. That sucks. So... Yeah, well, it happens. It happens. It's just the, the nature of life. Just, you know, shit happens, but I hate it. But thank you so much for being here. If you've had to deal with this hurricane, it sucks, and I hope you're doing okay. Uh, we're doing all right so far, but I don't know that the worst has gotten here yet. That may be overnight. We'll, so we'll see how it goes. But I will talk to you again later. Thank you so much for being here, and I will let you know how it goes tonight. I'll see you later.